us out. Did you think to take any extinguishers when you stole this ship? Blast! Outman! Rough! See what you can do with this thing. That's two more shuttles you owe me. You didn't even own this one. It really shouldn't count. It was mine when it crashed. It counts. Quiet. It could be anything out here. Well, there's wild animals, angry exiles, ungrateful rescuees. The point is a good one. Fine, fine. Anything on your sensors? Confirmation. I have detected a large metallic object nearby. Analysis suggests a technological construct, but there are no energy readings. Whatever it is, it's got better chances of flying than this thing. Engines fried to a crisp. Sky Troopers won't be far behind us. We need to hide the evidence of our landing. I'll scavenge you, Barry. Just like Aaron Prime. We know they're coming. Rig the shuttle to explode when they get close. They'll search more slowly once they're worried about traps. Not a bad thought. I'll see what I can do. I know you have more questions than answers, but we should really keep moving. I promise I'll tell you everything I can as soon as we're safe. Enthusiasm. Shall we investigate the technological object? I believe I can guide us to its location. Very well. Admiration. It is a great pleasure to witness your skills firsthand, Master. Master? Clarification. Master Benico altered my programming before we secured your release. I am to serve you with the same unexcelled loyalty with which I serve her. In fact, your survival is now my highest priority. Escaping that prison was only my latest misadventure. You'll have your work cut out for you. Flattery. The skills you have demonstrated thus far, coupled with the stories told by Master Benico, suggest that you are quite adept at ensuring your own survival. Enthusiasm. I look forward to eliminating any opponent foolish enough to attempt your murder regardless. Resumption. Shall we continue? Is this the object you picked up on your sensors? Confirmation. Yes, Master. A closer scan suggests that this object has been here for several centuries. Centuries? Of all the junk out here, you had to find the antique. Observation. Visible design elements do not match any from Zakulan culture, antique or modern. Not from Zakul. Could it be? He doesn't overthink things. Ha <laughs> Do you have any idea what this is? Thick hull. I see a few good spots for weapons. Some kind of combat frigate, I'd guess. This is the Gravestone! This was the only ship that ever went up against the Eternal Fleet and won! Do you have any idea how long people have been looking for this thing? And we just happened to stumble upon it. You said this ship went up against the Eternal Fleet and won. But it's rusting in a swamp while the fleet is still around. The fleet is even older than Valkoria, maybe even older than Zakul. The battles happened centuries ago, 
Nobody knows the details of the whole war, but every story talks about the Gravestone. One ship with the firepower to take on the Eternal Fleet. This is fate. We get your Outlander. Find exactly the weapon we need. We're going to win this thing, Lana. It's destiny. It's certainly no coincidence, but destiny? I think there's something else going on here. Destined or not, this is an opportunity. I won't turn that down. Let's have a look inside, huh? Assessment. Nearby signs of animal activity suggest local predators may be using this wreck as a nesting ground. Caution is advised. We'll split up. Deal with any wildlife, then regroup to plan our next move. Inflicted, they couldn't have made a safe landing anywhere else. And if they didn't make a safe landing? We'll know soon enough. Sky Troopers, sweep the area. Focus on regions with high metallic sensor readings. I oversaw security in the Carbonite prison. I. I humbly submit myself to answer for this failure. Sister. I didn't like his answer. So this ship has been here for a thousand years? More? Right. It's amazing that it's in such good condition. Considering. Judging by the damage I've seen, the stories are true. Whoever built the gravestone scuttled it themselves after the Eternal Fleet was defeated. It wasn't shot down. The fleet was defeated but not destroyed. Valkorion brought it back under his own control more than a century ago. Exactly. The Eternal Fleet is totally automated. Nobody knows who first built it, and every theory is crazier than the last. Renegades left behind after a successful droid revolution. Representatives of an entire race of droids from somewhere beyond the edge of the known galaxy. Like I said, crazy stuff. But no matter where it came from, the Eternal Fleet is practically unstoppable. And Arkin controls every single ship from the throne. If Alcorian has had this unstoppable fleet for more than a century, why didn't he use it to help the Sith Empire defeat the Republic? We can only theorize. Uh, if the war was just part of a ritual to make the Emperor truly immortal, perhaps using the fleet would have interfered somehow. Regardless, we have many other things to discuss. I owe you five years' worth of explanations. And I'm gonna need some parts to get this thing moving again. Locating supplies and fresh water would also be wise. I'll help you find what we need, Lana. Very well. Assertion. I will begin a patrol pattern to ensure that no enemy forces report our position. When Darth Mar and I faced Valkorion, we knew right away. He was the Sith Emperor, Lana. I know. When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Emperor's presence in the past, on Zyost, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an outlander had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truth. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. Zakulan sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. How long did the Republic and the Empire manage to hold out? Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkan's forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. 
The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. Coruscant and Drummond Cast were blockaded by the end of the first year. How did it end? The members of the Dark Council fought Arkhan's invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender, but the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. What about Sith intelligence? I'm no longer part of the organization, but I know that most of its assets were wiped out in the fighting. From what I've heard, Empress Asina prefers to rely on technological surveillance rather than direct intervention. I'm not sure what, if any, reconstruction has taken place. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held. But that will not last forever. A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. So the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire. What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who rules the Empire now? Darth Asina was the only Dark Council member left standing. All others died or disappeared in the chaos. Without opposition, she declared herself Empress of the Sith. And the Republic? Suresh remains in power, though she no longer holds the title of Chancellor. The Republic has limits to their ruler's terms but her replacement is a mere puppet. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. Arkhan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. What does Arkhan use the tribute for? Zakul doesn't seem to need much. A question no one else seems to ask or answer, not in any detail. Zakul's empire spans a sizable portion of wild space, but not enough to consume the resources they're acquiring. I've been working to learn the answer myself. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings, but there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth and HK. You obviously put a lot of thought into getting me out. Did you think about what would come after? Of course, though I admittedly didn't plan on being stranded in this swamp. For now, let's take things one step at a time. So why me? You clearly went to a lot of trouble to get me out of Carbonite. Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. But... There is something else. I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. I think you're right, Lana. I think the Emperor, Valkorion, is in my mind. What? After he died, there was a storm of energy. I barely even remember being thrown into the carbon freezing chamber. And then, while I was frozen, I saw things. Dreamed about him, about everything that happened while I was gone. It can't be. If he were controlling you, I'd know it. I certainly saw enough of it on Zyost. I don't think he's trying to control me. Not directly, anyway. He was trying to convince me to work with him. 
Whatever he's doing, we can be sure that he's always trying to deceive us somehow. I believe in you. And I appreciate your honesty. I'll remain watchful for any influence he might have over you. For the time being, though, we have no choice but to proceed. What about the others? They wouldn't understand. And like you said, we really don't know anything for sure yet. Let's keep the matter between us for now. Salutation. It is a pleasure to see you again so soon, Masters. I have encountered minimal resistance in my patrol. How minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. Keep up the good work, HK. Appreciation. It will be my pleasure to do so, Master. Hey there. Did you find something tasty? We definitely found something. Great! I've got a pretty good idea of the parts we'll need. Let's go see what we can find. It's destiny. I ditch all these parts before we crash, we find the gravestone, and then what do we need to get it flying? Honestly, it's plain as day. Not for Lana, though. For her, it's all just skill and luck and coincidence. Relying on fate to get you out of trouble will always leave you disappointed. Better to rely on yourself. I can't believe you two. Just wait and see. I know I'm right on this. Lana's told me about all the things you've done. More than once. Half the reason I agreed to this crazy rescue was to see if you were actually real. So, I figure I know all about your past. You deserve to know mine. Lana might have told you I was the captain of a warship during Arkin's campaign against the Core Worlds. My crew and I deserted, but I'm not going to pretend we didn't do our share of damage beforehand. Just thought you should hear it from me. Lana mentioned that you deserted instead of following orders. What was the order? We were holding territory on Denon. Locals rioted and orders were to open fire until they stopped. None of us even wanted to be there. Massacring civilians? That's not how Zakul is supposed to operate. I guess that's how Arkan operates. Which is why he has to go. One more thing, as long as we're being honest. When you risked your life to shut that generator down, you showed me that you're someone I can count on. I want to take Arkan down, but we don't have to take down all of Zakul with him. I'm glad to know you understand that, too. It's a nice sentiment, and this time things worked out. But when it comes down to it, I'm not going to let anything stop me from beating Arkan. And sooner or later, we're going to have a problem. Come on. Let's get this stuff back to the gravestone. Request. Please rendezvous at my current coordinates at your earliest convenience, Masters. I require assistance. Plastic droid. <laughs> Please save us. What the hell is going on here? What did you do to them? Protestation. I have done nothing to these pitiable meatbags, Master. They were merely bystanders when I destroyed a group of <laughs> sky troopers. They requested our help in escaping the enemy's notice. Please, we are no danger to you. We were exiled for protesting Emperor Arkan's war. We've already lost two of our friends. Please, is there anything you can do for us? We're repairing a ship with room for passengers. We can get you out of here. You're serious? That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're doing the right thing. Thank you. You're sure we can make it fly again? She'll fly. Just been waiting for somebody to come along and remind her how. Let's get to work then.
I take it you have questions. questions. 